So Tyra Banks can only mean one thing, and that means functions. What is a function? A function is one set of data to another set of assigned data is a function. For every x, there is only one y. Trust me. So the domain, the domain is your inputs. The domain is what you plug in, your inputs, what you plug in. The domain is also your x's. Okay. Common ways to find domain. All right, so some common waves here. Um, just some things to remember before we start doing some problems here. Um, the denominator cannot equal zero in a problem. Can't equal zero in a problem. Okay, so in this situation right here, one over x, it can't equal zero down here. If it does, right? If it equals zero down here, then here's your problem. It's undefined, and you can't have an equation being undefined. That can't be zero. So in this problem, we have another fraction, right? This can't be a zero on the bottom. So what number would you plug in here that would make it zero? Well, to find that out, x plus 2 cannot equal zero. That's the equation that we're solving because it can't equal zero on the bottom. I minus 2 on both sides. We find out that x cannot be negative 2. Here's what that means. Any other number in the world I plug in there will work except for negative 2. Just like up here, any number in the world will work for this problem except for zero. So, in this problem right here, how do you make it work? Well, remember we talked about writing intervals before? Well, this is how you write the interval. I can plug anything in except for negative 2, right? Which means I can plug in negative billion, negative million, negative 100. And I keep plugging in all those values until I get to negative 2. I can't plug in negative 2, which is why I have the curve bracket. I skip over negative 2, which is what that means. I'm skipping over negative 2, and it could be negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, a million, a billion, a trillion. So this is basically saying that every number works except for negative 2, and that is like a gap, like I'm leaping over the negative 2. This root, what you need to remember about square roots is that the number needs to be greater than or equal to 0. Greater than or equal to 0, okay? So, the square root of x minus 2, what we're saying is x minus 2 needs to be greater than or equal to 0. So I add 2 to both sides, so we figure out that x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So what that means is, it can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, a billion, a million, a trillion. Alright, that's what it means. Alright, so that means the lowest number it can be is a 2. And it goes the whole way up, and the reason why the 2 has a square bracket is because it's including that point. Because it's including that point. So 2 to infinity. There's no roots or fractions. The domain is all real numbers. Okay, so no roots, no fractions. The domain is all real numbers. This has been a most unusual day. The range is all the outputs. It's what comes out of the function. That's why it's an output. It's your y's and don't worry about image right now. So, this is not a function. The reason why it's not a function is because 1 goes to two numbers, 5 and 7. For every input, it goes to one output. Input, it goes to two outputs. That means it's not a function. However, every input goes to one output. So, that's why that one is okay, because every input goes to one output. Michael, I'm getting some unusual re so, taking a look here, um, why don't we stop for a minute and we will uh, continue on here with example one and the rest of these examples when we come back.